Good morning, gamers. Welcome back to Banished Souls. This is your Captain Cryptic speaking. So we've had some interesting questions about some stuff related to the helm. So uh, I want to show you something today. We did a live stream earlier. Uh, for some reason, uh, it was one of our comments said that they weren't able to boost. So I thought it was going to be something pretty simple. But it turns out there may actually be something kind of screwed up in some of the boosting aspects of the game here. Not really sure, but so we come here, we brought our Juniper Berries, we started our funding and all that, and come in, try to fund this thing to get that uh, that uh, extra percentage on our boost. It's like 600% on some of that stuff. Some of them are up to 700. But when we get to location, it doesn't actually let us boost. So not sure what's going on with that. We're going to do some more checking on that and get back with you. But we went over the basics of your territorial upgrades, what to do. So naturally, the first thing we did is we captured all of St. Anne. And I funded it, and we did the, the runs just like everybody else does, running back and forth, trying to haul these, these eights in. Now, as you can see, I'm not really funding these yet. As I open up these locations in Africa, because we have moved into Africa, uh, we're doing 162 base per hour because we do have some of these connecting points. Not all of them, but some. And the same thing up here, we're, we're pulling in 105 an hour. So you're going to see those numbers start to come up. And you're going to see the connecting point numbers coming up as well. So like we're doing 124, that's not with boost, that's just straight up on that. But the number one key to making sure that you're going to be able to uh, get those numbers as you start bringing some of those to fives, I wouldn't go straight for eights, go for some threes, go for some fives, get you about five or six fives. And when you start bringing in and you've got the weapons that you want, don't just come in here and buy every weapon they have in the black market. Figure out what ship is best fitted for your uh, play style and then do your, your weapons from there, guys. So one of the other things that you wanna do is you want to come in to your helm here and Go up here to Helm Empire Overview. <clears throat> now this is what's going to be bringing you the most pieces of eight. Once you get those to at least a five. Now I understand you have your smuggler operation. This is improved laboratory equipment. It's going to allow you to make the gold skull and different products like that. The the, the rum and, and the gin and, and, and so on and so forth. And those are really good things to do and bring those up. We've got that up to about a 13. I've not brought it much higher than that. So then you have your smuggler skills. These are going to increase some of your stuff. But what you want to look for is you want to look for, like, uh, if you're in Africa, you have the Confederation and Galwin efficiency. So this is going to, uh, in feast, uh, it's going to make the profits and manufacturers run 8%. So it's going to increase it by 8%. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've had a few of them that's it's already come in and, and hammered up pretty good. So then you also have an empire management. So it's going to increase profit bonus for controlled territories by 10%. So yeah, we definitely want to do that. And that's going to be bringing these numbers up that you're seeing on our screen here as well. And that's what it is, is just coming in and finding the right one. So if you want to uh, reduce cost of production contraband from sugar cane and manufactured by 6%, you can hit that. What that's going to do is if you are boosting with sugar cane, it's going to make so you need 6% less. So then the next one would be reduced production cost of red oil manufactured by 12%. That's talking about the silver. So we definitely want to get that. It's going to be at 1800 So that'll be with our next collection. We'll be able to bump this up some more. So this is how you're going to get those, those numbers up. Now, it's not going to mean anything if you're just running twos. Uh, you're going to bring up some, but you're going to be still filling the warehouses up. So you need some really good warehouse space. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is bringing everything up to eight. So we've got a lot of these updates. We've got some sevens over here. looks like we've got one there. Uh, we've got a six here, it looks like. So we'll be bringing those up in time, too. But right now, I'm just kind of running this path and collecting, and I am building up my upgrades. Now, you could decide, you know what, I don't care about the upgrades. I just want to do the eights. But you're going to get more bang for your buck, spending your pieces eight using this method here coming in and improving your uh red aisle connections that's obviously the first one you want to do when you start getting into the coast of africa you want to do some of these coast of africa connections and look at the the numbers you can flip through here and see what you, what you've got so increased profit bonus for established trade routes by 40 percent so Obviously, we want to get that, so we need to come up with at least 4,000 here. Then you're probably looking at 5,000, so as soon as you hit 9,000, you get open both of those. 
we're going to hit that one next whenever we make our next collection because it's going to give us also a uh, territorial production discount as well so we're getting a increase of 40 percent on our routes that'll be anything with a a completed route of some sort so that's going to be like this here where it's routed over here that's going to be these here that are routed it's going to be all of this here that's routed it's going to be these here that are routed it's also going to include all of these that are routed so once we start getting those up we can start bringing these levels up so we have a seven here we're going to go ahead and fund it real quick and again depending on types of stuff you're making so if you do the opium then yes you're going to need those juniper berries to do it. if you do the white skull gin you're going to need to boost that with sugar cane if you do the black snuff you need to boost that with tobacco leaves and we're going to go ahead and fund that and get that started. And that's going to help bring us in to a, a situation where we're really starting to drag in some really good profits. So hope this video has helped you. We will talk to everyone later and definitely hit that subscribe button.